Customizing your products is one of the most important things you can offer as a woodworker. From a company logo on a wholesale item to a specialized name on a cutting board, there are tons of different things you can do. There are also different ways you can do this, from your CNC to a hot brand or a laser. So this week, we're gonna be reviewing one of these tools that will help me customize my products for my customers. Let's get it unboxed. I'm unboxing the Acemer P3 48 watt laser. I've got it out of the box and I have to say it's packed so well. All the accessories are in molded foam inside the work area. It's really well packaged. Okay, here we go, my friends. This is the Acemer P3 48 watt diode laser. This is a fantastic beginner's machine. Um, if you're looking for the price point and they are on sale through Mother's Day this week, um, they are a great product to uh, go ahead and purchase if you're getting started for your small shop um, as a beginner diode laser. Around that same price point, you're gonna look at like the laser pecker, which is a small, only four inch by four inch area that you can work on. This is a 400 by 400 millimeter area, which uh, is quite a big piece of uh, real estate for a machine this size. So let's get into the specs. The Acer P3 is a 400 by 400 work area with an 800 millimeters per second travel time, which means it can travel really fast for a machine this size. With a 48 watt laser, you'll be able to cut wood and acrylic with this dial laser, which is a really great thing for an entry level laser. I'm really impressed with this machine. I think it does a really great job for everything it can do for an entry level machine. And as a reminder, it is on sale right now through the end of the week for Mother's Day. So if you're looking to pick up a small machine for your small shop, this is the perfect time to do so. We've got it all set up now, so let's go ahead and do our first test burn. I'm going to do my Duffy Woodcraft logo on a piece of scrap material. Uh, this does come with a rotary and an air purifier. I don't have those hooked up yet. We'll do that next, but I want to make sure that the laser is running us properly right out of the box. So let's do our first test burn. So there's my first two test cuts. This is going to be a great machine for a small shop like mine. Uh, it's going to give me lots of versatile options for engraving. So I did that first engraving test and I also did a cutting test because um, this is a 48 watt laser, which means I can cut with it um, through some small basswood pieces, which is really nice. Um, so I'm not going to be using it for big production things, but for uh, small pieces, maybe for my like tic-tac-toe boards, I can cut out my little Sasquatches. Uh, out of this little basswood, which will be really nice and save me some time. Um, so the engraving test really did well. It's my mistake for getting it too close on the edge. And then the cut test did phenomenal as well. Um, so right out of the box, I did not have to calibrate it, which is great. It was right uh, already calibrated with inside a Lightroom, which is the software I'm using. Um, there are other software options. There's a free software, which I'll put down in the description link below. Uh, and there is an app from Asmr as well that you can use for on your phone. Um, What's really nice about this system is that it's all enclosed. So with the air purifier that I'll connect with this, once I get it to its final home location, um, it will allow me to run this inside without having to worry about having smoke and um, uh, nasty fumes everywhere. Because this is also a 48 watt laser, uh, I can also do some small pieces of acrylic, which will be really nice uh, if I want to add some extra pop of color to a couple of projects or anything like that. The air pump is pretty phenomenal. It doesn't kick on all the time. It only kicks on when it's needed, which I really like. So it's a lot less noise that doesn't have to be running constantly. Um, so this is great. I'm going to do some more testing and uh, let's uh, get my final thoughts once it's all done and tested. Now let me give you an overview of the Acemer P3 and the different functions and buttons on the machine. Like I said, the Acemer P3 is a 400 by 400 work area. It does come with a honeycomb steel bed in it, which is great as it also comes with four magnetic hold down options. So these are, give you lots of versatile ways to hold down your material. The laser module is swappable, so you can swap it out for the other Acemer laser modules. Uh, it has an air assist that plugs in right into the top along with the power connection. The laser head does not adjust on the Z-axis, so you do have to move it up down yourself using the screws on the side of the laser head to lock it in place at level. 
The X and Y axis are belt driven, but they are also on a metal rail system, which helps it not flex or move around a lot at the high speeds. Another nice feature of this machine is that it comes with a camera. It's built in right at the top. It's a fisheye camera. Now, what's great about that is, is it's once you've done the calibration inside of Lightroom or any other software you're using, you can use that image to overlay onto your work area and then you can place your images. Let me show you that. Just showing you this for a quick reference, but on my computer here, I've done a, went ahead and done the overlay on the work area and I've got my uh, image here so that I can place right on the workpiece. So then when I start the software, it'll put that, uh, that logo that I'm doing right there on the workpiece where it is. And so for example, I've already done that and you can see that it's already burned it. So uh, I really like that this has that camera built in. It's, it's really nice to be able to see what you're placing on the work area where you're using it. At the back of the laser is the exhaust fan. This is where you would connect the hose to either go outside or to the air purifier. Lit for the enclosure is that safety acrylic, which allows you to look at your laser bed while the laser is running without the use of extra goggles. Moving to the front of the cabinet, you have the power button and the emergency stop button. You also have a lock key, which allows you to lock the unit so that it can't run without it being turned to the on position. You don't have to leave the key in once it's turned on, but you do have to have it in that on position. There are only four ports on this entire unit. One is power, which goes to the power adapter. You have a computer cable to plug in your computer for computer control. You have the air port, and then you have the power for the air pump. Speaking of the air pump, this is the little air pump that comes with the unit. I was really impressed with this as it actually holds quite a bit of compressed air before it has to kick back on while the laser is running, but it does a great job of providing some extra air to the unit. Inside the package was also the getting started box, which has the uh, manual, a recommended guide of uh, material settings, all the screwdrivers you would need to take apart everything in the unit, a driver uh, memory card, a uh, clean cloth, some lubricant, and the circles for calibrating the camera inside of Lightroom. Finally on the machine is a QR code to contact the support team and go to the FAQ section. I have to say, I really like any company that does this, that tells me they stand behind their product and stand behind their support team to fix any issue that you may run into and help you learn how to use your product. So what do I think about the Acemer P3 now that I've had this for a couple of weeks? Well, there are lots of different things I can do with this machine, and I've been really, really impressed. I do want to mention a couple of things that I mentioned earlier. First of all, this is the bottom tray. It comes out all of the way, which allows me to uh, clean the tray and move out, uh, and clean the honeycomb and any cutoffs that fall underneath the honeycomb. It also allows me to completely remove this and do longer pieces if I need to slide them in and out the other side. I also can put this on top of a larger item with this removed and engrave the whole surface, say like a big tabletop if I want to engrave it. So this is very, very versatile. Again, this is a beginner machine and at this beginner price point for this type of diode laser, I am continuously surprised with how versatile this machine is. Um, I did a whole bunch of stuff the last couple of weeks. I did these uh, veneer stickers, which are new to me, which were really fun. Um, I made this UFO layered uh, piece and a lighthouse layered on a nice piece of burl, uh, painting each layer and then cutting them out. Um, I did a welcome sign for the July 4th weekend uh, coming up later this summer. There's lots of things that uh, this has opened up for me that I can do different projects with. So I'm excited to keep using it, keep learning it. Again, it's if you're watching this this week uh, during Mother's Day week, it is on sale through the end of the week. So make sure you go check that out. Otherwise, they do run sales through most of the holidays. Um, I have a new project video coming out in two weeks. So until I see you then, bye-bye.